guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Libra for February 2020. So guys, keep in mind it is general. It can't possibly hit everyone's situation, but take what you feel is for you, what resonates on a soul level, and disregard the rest, my friends. Go about your day. But know that no matter what spirit has to offer, what cards we get, it's still up to you and how you integrate this, how you move forward, right? Your Grassroots Evolution, Evolution, and the choices you make and the steps that you take in this world to get whatever fulfillment it is that you would ultimately like to see and I think that's power so for all my subscribers guys thank you honestly from the bottom of my heart thank you for being here it means the world to me um, if you are new to my channel if this resonates at the end please feel free and subscribe jump on board join the journey with me let me encounter your energy more often I love doing these readings as well because I feel like they bring healing to me as well so thank you guys for being here it means the world I'm gonna take a moment to ask Archangel Michael to jump in to guide guard bless and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel for the most far-reaching of you guys and to only deliver messages for the highest good of any of us watching so I would ask you guys or you know just advise you guys if you are calling in spirit or your guides to ask the same ask that they're only going to give messages that are for your highest good in a way that you can understand so kind of get the guesswork out of there a little bit so i'm going to also ask my team of light to join us as well as archangel metatron and i'm going to start out with the keeper of the light oracle first by this is by kyle gray as an overarching energy that we could be aware of for this month of february for libra please keep in mind guys as well that time is fluid so I have the white eagle spirit here and holy amethyst with the divine um, alchemy and ancestor spirit we may be picking up on something that is a past situation past life something you're currently dealing with or an energy that's starting to trickle into the energy system so just keep that in mind um, I feel like there could be things, this is ancestral, right? There could be family lineage as well um, that you are, are, it says here, connect to your lineage, a family wound or pattern could be healed right now. So with this, what I feel like, especially being the white feather, I love feathers, and the colors are important. Whatever family wound, whatever pattern, whatever thing that could have been passed down, the, um, could be even just, you know, ways that you were raised that you see now and be like, mm, that's not how I want to continue. And this could be like bloodline stuff that's happened for long, long times. This is time, perfect timing, I feel like, to heal it with divine um, alchemy here it says move beyond current challenges and focus on what you desire so much like if we're working on family wounds and patternings or even core woundings within ourselves rather than focusing on all the negative and all the things that we don't want to see the power here is saying i have divine alchemy i can create my reality by focusing my intentions on what i would like to see in this world and bringing peace right and waving that white feather rather than the white flag and saying these no longer weigh me down it's okay now for me to choose my healing and choose ways forward so i feel like what's important as well is they're asking for an earth magic but focusing on the behaviors and the patterns that we would like to establish and giving ourselves grace I'm gonna take these to breach to show our true selves because some of that old patterning and stuff, that is, um, like, in it's, it's learned environmental behaviors. It's, it's ways of thinking that aren't suiting us. And that's also ways of thinking and ways of being that aren't truly authentic to us. And once we're able to bring peace to that, heal those core wounds, heal that family wounding. This could be genealogy as well. Um... I heard persistence, but it also could be like persecution as well within family bloodlines that it's up to you on how you encounter that energy, how you respond to that and um, the strength that you allow it to give you. Because once we get out of these waters, they're heavy, right on top of water, you can float, but underneath the water may seem crushing and heavy. And this, we can also use this as a kind of a uh, what's the word a metaphor right for our emotions that sometimes the emotions attached to these behaviors or these family woundings they're heavy but once you get the courage to jump out and breach out and say uh-uh 
I don't need to live in this water all the time. That air, it's light, it's refreshing. We have unfoldment. And this is allowing that murk and that heaviness to help you become a different person, to help your life unfold in different ways. And it really does all that crap down here. It does nourish this flower. It nourishes as well. You see this, if it's hard to tell, but in the clouds, in the ether, it's almost like spirit's hand holding the sun going, it's okay, honey, rise up, rise up towards the sun. Get some warmth to those depths. We have Gaia and this earth connection and nurturing again the behaviors and the worlds that we want to see, invocation or ceremony, and clouds with shape shifting. I feel like we can change ourselves, we can change our behaviors. I love these because the clouds is almost to me thought forms as well, that we can allow thoughts and ideas to come, acknowledge them, see if they're for us and not go blow away cloud change your form and these are ever changing just like us we have the ability to change from day to day and someone that you may be a behavior that happened yesterday you say you know what that's not me it's time to come out and breach out and say this is the behavior I would like to exude from here on this also to help set this in you could ask spirit to help you you could make a ceremony you could write down these behaviors thought patterns whatever it is you want to remove from your your now write it down and burn it in a safe receptacle only you can prevent fires but focusing with the crystals paying attention to your own inner knowledge and paying homage to those who've come before you knowing that you will work on those that come after you and you're responsible for your own healing as well but using all that spirit has and all that you have sort of in your spiritual toolbox or backpack at your disposal so i'm being asked to bring a message here from the animal wisdom tarot these spirits can you give one message for anyone watching ha <laughs> thank you it's the falcon and this is the seer of feathers this is somebody going after new ways of thinking and new thought forms new conversations falcon and the bottom of the deck is the ace of shells which is a shrimp right but this is brand new and underneath this depths where we have the whale has come out breach this as well is staying in your shell <laughs> but owning your emotions and really, really honoring your heart, as well as one thing I, I'm being drawn to is, you see the rays of light, they're still able to get down into the depths of this water. So this is really an enlightened and flourishing with life kind of love. The Falcon, I want to read you a little bit. Guys, and if I get cut off, I apologize, but let me get to the Falcon. Seer, seeker of Feathers. And I love that it's the seeker. It's the seeker. You as a seeker. You seeking to move past family or ancestral wounding. You seeking to be the alchemist in your life. Fly high and see clear. Ride the wind of spirit. So this is a quick, piercing, and direct, accurate quality. The seeker of feathers is smart, strategic, intellectually stimulating, and verbally challenging. Air of air insinuates rapid thoughts, quick answers, and brisk, insightful commentary. Sometimes blunt, opinionated, or sarcastic, the seeker is nonetheless an expert whose penetrating wit and steely clarity slices through the confusion. Prized for his strong muscles, long windspan, and streamlined shape, Falcon is partnered with hunters through the art of falconry. Honored by ancient Egyptians, Falcon appeared alongside deities representing a regal travel mode through the spirit world. Intense, confident, finely attuned, Falcon helps us to know ourselves, discern our life purpose, and move forward with grace and ease. And I feel like this is the, the energy to embody, this Falcon, moving through this with grace and ease and seeing clearly and knowing your power as the seeker. Be an active seeker as well, and an active seeker of love, an active seeker of how do I express my love in this world, what do I consider as love, and how would I want, how do I want my love to be remembered. So let's get another message here, please, from this one. 
Thank you. You have authority as well, and this is the keeper of sacred tradition. This is also um, with this with the chariot on the bottom. I'm not reading it as reversed, but I feel like in the two of pentacles, which is the monkey. I'm gonna take that. What I feel like here is this is the hierophant. This is the sacred knowledge. This is Taurus season, but this is that bullheaded earthiness that says, I know what my truth is and I'm gonna stand firm in it. I know what is right for me and you can't sway me otherwise. Head down, right? What would a bull do and charge forward to what you see in your world and what you're seeking? These new thought forms, this new energy, this new knowledge, this new truth as well with clarity down here. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus, but I feel like this is something that could be coming up with Taurus energy in May or um, in June as well. But I feel like this as well as knowing your truth, this person or this, this bull has the key around his neck. He is carrying it wherever it goes. And you have that knowledge and that ability to carry this wherever you go as well. And this spirit of freedom, this is the chariot between the light and dark, between the sun and the moon, two different, excuse me, polarities and being able to ride in between as well as this is it says horse but that's pegasus that's flying that's not being confined necessarily to your feet on the ground that's being able to fly and to soar above and beyond what maybe you have thought imaginable before or anyone else thought that you could ever do you have power to do that much like this seeker this is airborne and these start in our thoughts first to create balance in our world, to be playful as well, to juggle the mind and the heart, but to know that balance, you see the growth on these leaves, they're little hearts, and the yin and the yang, to maintain balance, to sit on this rock, be able to see into the emotions, but go, but in this world, how do I make this work? How do I juggle my life so that I can keep true to what I'm trying to fulfill, what I'm trying to do in this world? And I'm going to end with a Crystal Mandela Oracle. Stuff flying around, guys. One message that may help anyone who's resonated with this moving forward. To help clear these lines, please. And breach. One message. Thank you. The bottom is Crossroads to Destiny. Um goddess hectate and mika so hectate may be a, a stone that it's helpful but knowing that making these choices that puts you at a crossroads because you become now aware of the past aware of patterns and the not the seeker of your destiny there's a word i can't find unconditional trust we have here with ascended master mother mary and celestite and this is Celestite. It is difficult. It's kind of whitey blue, but it does not like water. It will break off easily, much like selenite, but it's a really high vibrational stone. Um, unconditional trust, though, in this journey, in your world. And you have 14, which is Archangel Lahibiel in black tourmaline, which is a very purifying stone as well. And we have purification, kind of warding off the negative purifying the now and asking spirit to help you purify whatever this is is and really becoming the master of your seas the master of your world right that seeker going after 